Hello boys and girls. It's good to see you again. This week I'm going to read to you some Curious George books. I have a variety of books. Curious George goes to the ice cream shop. Curious George gets a medal. Curious George goes to a costume party. Curious George tadpole trouble. And Curious George and the pizza. So I'm just going to take my selection of books and turn them upside down. I'm going to shuffle them up a little bit. I'm going to pick one, and that will be our book for today. And today's book is, ooh, Curious George Goes to an Ice Cream Shop. Mmm, this story may make me a little hungry for ice cream. And what happens when Curious goes places? He sometimes, what, gets in trouble because he's so curious. He's so interested in things. Let's find out what happens when Curious George goes to an ice cream shop. George and his friend were cleaning the house. We've worked hard today, said the man. Let's treat ourselves to some ice cream. Look, George, there's a new ice cream place in town. And the man with the, said the man with the yellow hat, let's give it a try. We've come to try your ice cream, the man said to the owner. Well, I'm glad someone has, said Mr. Herb. Come on in. I just opened the place, and no one has been here. Well, I'll have a strawberry one, said the man with the yellow hat. And Mr. Herb dipped out a scoop of strawberry. George was curious. Could he scoop ice cream, too? I have some errands to do, George, said the man. Now you stay here until I come back, and you can have some ice cream, but do not get into trouble. Take your time deciding, George, said Mr. Herb. I'll start on a special order I have to fill. George couldn't make up his mind. There were so many flavors to choose from. And Mr. Herb was fizzy filling a bowl with ice cream. This is my first big order. It's for a party, and it has to be just right. Look at all that ice cream he has to scoop. Just then the phone rang. That might be another order, said Mr. Herb, and he went to answer it. The next thing you know, George had climbed on top of the counter, and he picked up the scoop. Oh, dear. He dipped into the banana ice cream and he put it into the bowl. And then he dug into the strawberry, the nutty, walnut, the raspberry, and even the chocolate. Soon there was a mountain of ice cream in the bowl. And George was just about to put vanilla in when on top of the peppermint when... George! yelled Mr. Herb. That's not what my customer ordered. Now I have to start all over again, he said. You get away from here. Mr. Herb was very angry. Can you tell in my voice as I was reading? Because the character, he was angry, so then I made my voice like the character. George was scared. He ran over to the other counter in front of the window. He knew that man was very mad. And there were jars of cherries, nuts, coconut, whipped cream, and all kinds of sauces. There was even a bowl of bananas. Oh, and George put some bananas in a dish, and then he added raspberries, chocolate chip, and some whipped cream. Mmm, George was getting hungry. Suddenly, there was a tapping on the window, and George turned around. Outside, there was a crowd watching. Add some nuts, George, called a boy. Try some of the sprinkles, said a girl. Don't forget the cherry on top. How could George forget the cherry? So now everyone was coming to watch him. Just about, just as George was about to taste his masterpiece, Mr. Herb came over. But before Mr. Herb could scold George, the crowd rushed in. I'd like a raspberry sundae, said a man. And I'll have a banana split, said another. 
Mr. Herb could hardly keep up. The orders kept pouring in. And now everybody's coming over to his ice cream shop. Finally, everyone was served. Thank you to all the customers, George, Mr. Herb said. You messed up my order, but you sure made up for it. Just then, the man with the yellow hat arrived. Have you finally decided what flavor you want, George? He sure did, said Mr. Herb. A little bit of everything. Oh, boys and girls, I hope you have a fun day, and maybe you'll be a little bit, like, curious and, and investigate things and find out things or maybe even have some ice cream. I hope you don't eat, don't eat as much as Curious did, or you might have a stomachache. We'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.